Okay, what is up? It's the most awesome hatchery with my first walkthrough or let's play. Um, it's let's play of Dragon Quest V. Um, so we start off here in the in a castle, and there's some guy that needs to relax and stuff. Yeah, um, we don't really know why yet, um, but we will most likely find out in a couple of seconds or minutes. I hope so at least. So there's some Spanish guy here. Um. He talks in Spanish, speaks Spanish, yeah. I don't really know Spanish that well, so I don't know what he's saying. So we're now entering some other room, and this guy has actually, he's actually got a child now, and it's a boy, and he's like, awesome, not a girl. Um, and the little boy is actually strong as an ox already, I don't know. Or actually screaming like an ox, I don't know how ox to sound when they scream, but it's probably pretty beast. Um, yeah, Madison, that's that's a nice name. Nice name. Um, that sounds like a girl name to me. Or at least a very feminine name. No offense to, pe to guys with a name. Madison, I don't know. That sounds really girly. Um, yeah, so he's like lifting me up in the sky. And, yeah, and Jacob. Yes, because the mom told him to. Yeah, and that's actually my name. I didn't know that the main character, or well, actually, I guess it's the main character, had had to have the same name. I just typed in my own name. And now we're seeing the entrance screen of Dragon Quest. But we don't really know which Dragon Quest it is yet, if, if we didn't look at the box art. Um, but it is Dragon Quest. Uh, Dragon Quest. Yeah, it's five. I really, I already said it was five, so I don't need to show you. So it seems like we're some random place here now, and we don't have uh, any fancy clothes. And it, there's like water next to us. And I had some kind of dream of me being a prince. Yeah, so I guess it was just a dream. I don't know. Um, where else? Checking around here. Going to check around here. Turning around stuff with a camera. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it's actually pretty awesome. We're gonna break all these things, but I don't know which button. Uh, it's not the B button. Okay, it's the A button. Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> I'm not gonna swear that much. Um, I promise you, I will try. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna break all these. Oh, sorry for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that used to playing with a keyboard. Um, so yeah, we got some kind of herb, medical leaf, and some kind of drug seed thing. Um, yeah, we're just gonna not care about those barrels. So yeah, we are actually at the ship, not next to the she sea. sea she. So if you played the original, you will see that the graphics has improved a lot. It looks a bit like the PlayStation 1 graphics. I'm the king of the world! Actually, it does. Yeah, as I said, it looks like the PlayStation 1 graphics, which is a good thing because I love those graphics. <coughs> so yeah, the graphics has improved a lot. And we are going to talk to all these people because we don't know what to do. Um, and talking to people in Dragon Quest is usually a good thing because they usually they usually tell you what to do and we're talking to the steerman and we're talking to the random guy here so the captain has to talk to us and he's in that room so I guess we're gonna do that we go there next but first we have to take all this stuff because there's always stuff to get um, yeah, so here's the chef. He probably makes delicious food. I'm not sure though. Though, 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 though. Um, yeah. Let's go downstairs. There's some guys here. They're talking about my father. And says that it's hard to... Hard to... Yeah, something. Something is hard. He's got something that is hard. Um, yeah. There's a lot of barrels here and chests. Oh my god. They're probably not openable. 
openable, that's a new word. No, but I don't think you can open them. They're probably just there too. Yep, you can't open them. There's a lot of chests in Dragon Quest that you can't open. So I'm psychic, so I know exactly what's gonna happen almost. <laughs> no, not really. Um, yeah, so I guess there's not no other place to go. We're just gonna check around here. And yes, there is a door here, hidden. So we can take some more stuff, hopefully. And yeah, there's no books with a particular interest of mine. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna open all these things. Got mo one more herb. Um, random room that doesn't do any good, except for there's a pretty good view. Um, yeah, so as you may notice, English is not my main language. Um, yeah, so there will be a lot of um, lot of grammatical fails of mine. Um, just saying, don't judge me. I, I'm, I'm actually I am as stupid as I sound when I speak English. Um, yeah, so we find a book here. Um, ha, found the oak. I didn't even read it. Um, let's see what it says. Some yoke book. What you call a dwarf who always out to get you. Um, a dwarf. Funny, funny. I can't read either, I guess, because I didn't get it. Um, Guard, you need to scream muffin. Um, something. I didn't read the whole text. <laughs> Um, so here's our beloved captain. We love him because he's a uh, he's got a white beard and a hat. Actually, everyone in this game has a hat. That's kind of creepy. I mean, seriously, everyone has a hat. Look, hats everywhere. But I I don't think my dad has a hat. If he's got a hat, this game is scary. Some guys over there, but they don't wear hats. So I guess all rich people wear hats, and the poor ones doesn't. But co they can't afford a nice hat, so they they don't wear one. That's that's uh, the only explanation. Yes, yeah, so we have to meet our father. I guess he's poor too because he doesn't have a hat. Sorry, Dad, you're not you're not rich enough to wear a hat so it seems like we're leaving the ship no that sucks <laughs> um, yeah I guess we have to talk to the captain to leave um, let me leave I wanna leave we actually don't I wanna stay in the ship I'm a One Piece fan, I love ships. Father, what am I supposed to do? Okay, I see, I see. So these are going to go onto the ship. And she's like, oh my god. You're in my way, old man. I mean, like, my father is old, but he's not that old. He's like 50. Um, and I'm like, I don't know, like, I don't know, 60, 50, I don't know. He doesn't look that young I guess it's like just as tall as the other guys but yeah I guess he's the father of those two shells and she can't she can't enter the ship because it's too high but the little girl could I mean she must be mentally challenged actually physically challenged she may be obese or something I don't know um, yeah, so time to exit the ship. Let's talk to our father. Yes, I got everything, father. Yes. I don't wanna say goodbye to anyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's leave this ship. Bye, ship. I hope you don't hit an iceberg or something that would be unfortunate yeah it's a really quick ship I mean like these cutscenes they are they are pretty good looking like 
dang, these are pretty. These are actually probably one of the best graphics I've seen on a Nintendo DS. I'm, I'm serious. These graphics are amazing. Like they're so beautiful. <laughs> it's gonna make me cry. No, I, I'm a Viking. I don't cry. The only tears of mine are tears of blood. But I, I don't know. I think you cry blood when you're sick. And I'm not sick. I'm never sick. My friend knows that. Never sick. Um, let's go further to make the story progress. Um, let's steal this old lady's stuff. She's really poor. She doesn't even have anything. Um, and she doesn't wear a hat. That's the main sign of someone being poor. So let's break all of her barrels. Um, yeah. Oh my god. She's got gold in the barrel. Ten gold coins, that must be a lot. I mean, like, gold is pretty rare. And there was nothing there. That's lame. Oh well. And, yeah. Limes, they are so hard, these slimes, they are so extremely tough and rough and tough. Um, I can't seem to beat them, but my dad joins us and he's honing those slimes. I mean, like, I did like 5 damage and he did like 86. That's beast, dad. Beast. Oh, beast. Um, yeah, so we're in a place that looks like Sweden and now it looks like Russia and we're meeting one more enemy actually it's four enemies two servicator and two cats um, yeah let's see here yeah it seems like we beat him oh my god freaking 163 damage I don't think I don't think I will be able to deal that kind of damage ever. Um, yes, yeah, so let's keep going. I'm actually not the one controlling now. It seems like the um, game is controlling it for itself. And now we're actually entering a town. And it seems like we've been gone for two years. I mean, like, yeah. Two years, that's quite a lot on a boat. Oh my god, everyone is like greeting our father because he's so cool. Uh, yeah, he's pretty awesome, even though he doesn't wear a hat. I mean, like, dang, everyone is wearing a hat. Let's look. Like 50% or even more is wearing a hat. And in the normal world, there's like not that many wearing a hat. It's pretty stupid wearing a hat. Or maybe not when it's in the summer, but I mean, don't wear a hat, it's not cool. Yes, yeah, so there's like some kind of god woman, and it's Mr. Nacho. This is good to see you, sir. Uh, it's me, Senor Nacho, and he's like going to rape us or something. I, I doubt that though, but it, it is not, it could happen. So there's the hot lady entering the house from above. And here's his wife, I believe. Yeah, maybe. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, it would have been stupid if there was just some random girl. Yeah, and grown up talking is boring. Let's go upstairs and play. I wanna play with you, girl. Mm hmm. So this episode is almost over, we're just gonna have some fun here with this girl, and then we're gonna end this episode. Um, I'm, I'm remembering, I remember you girl, or oh, actually I don't, I just started playing this game. Yeah, you're two years older than me, yes, score! Um, yeah, so we're gonna read a book. Um, that's not the kind of playing I thought of. 
Um, yeah. What if we didn't even read the book? What kind of play is this? If we're not gonna have sex, we can at least play. Oh. Yeah, so this is the end. See ya later, guys.